So pure O is a term that people use to describe a, I guess, I guess the best way of putting it is a perspective on OCD. So you'll hear people say, I have pure O or I am pure O. It started a long time ago when um, it was believed that there were people that they referred to as pure obsessionals, where they were just obsessing and they weren't doing any compulsions that were, that were understood. So as this person just seems to be obsessing with, with nothing else going on there. And then they realized, um, you know, some, I think like in the 90s, that uh, this probably wasn't happening, that they were, there were covert compulsions. There was reassurance seeking and avoidance and, and mental rituals, which was this whole other world that was you know, being underst starting to be understood. So they called it primarily obsessional. And now we have uh, diagnostic codes that break down OCD into different categories where it's emphasizing you know, primarily obsessional or primarily compulsive or a mix of both. In my experience, everybody is a mix of both because that's the nature of the disorder. We just call it OCD. We don't need another thing for it. OCD is obsessions, unwanted intrusive thoughts. They cause distress. You have compulsions, which are mental or physical behaviors that you engage in to try to get certain that your obsessive fears won't come true. And this makes you feel better, which triggers a uh, process in the brain that makes you feel like you have to do the compulsions every time you have the obsessions, and around and around we go. So when I think about Puro, I'm, I'm always a little bit torn because it is a misnomer. It's just technically a misnomer. There's nothing pure about it. Your OCD, uh, is no different than anybody else's OCD if you have obsessions and you have compulsions. That's getting wrapped up in the content. So to say I'm pure O, you know, really just means I'm not a compulsive hand washer or I'm not a compulsive lock checker, that mostly my obsessions involve things like unwanted violent thoughts or sexual thoughts or thoughts about my relationship or something like that. And most of my compulsions are mental rituals and avoidance and reassurance seeking and things like that.